tell guys I just got done hold on I gotta turn here looking at another tractor to that I just kept looking at this 4840 that wouldn't wouldn't go into park and it, looking at the linkage and everything and I said man something just doesn't you know I, I pulled the cable off the cable was free but I said man I think that there's an arm on there and it comes up against a stop and it says I got to looking and I said man I think that that arm somehow got somehow I got on the wrong side of that stop and now I now I see why somebody had Balin wire now I see why they had Balin wire in there. Somebody had Balin wire. I'll show you here in a little bit. To space the to space the spring out so it couldn't move over and move the lever. Because there's obviously a spacer or something missing on this thing. But they had a 4440 sitting over there. I went over there and looked at it. And I see there's a spacer missing, and I see exactly the way it operates now. It's kind of the way I thought it was supposed to, but I wasn't 100% sure. You want out, sissy girl, or you want to stay in there, or what? Come on, let me get this girl out of here. Let me find somewhere to put this camera. Come here, baby. Oh, I got you, big girl. Oh. Okay. Okay, so now, let's get back up in here. Now I know exactly what is going on. This. Ugh. Man, I was over here trying to pop it on the other side of that a minute ago. And my bar slipped off and I hit my elbow right there. You ever had a stinger to where it hits the nerves and then it actually burns your whole arm? I mean, it just feels like somebody took a, a rosebud and just heated your hands up. It got so hot. God almighty, it hurt. <laughs> it hurt. I just about, I had to climb up from under here and just catch my breath. It hurt so fucking bad. Whoo. So, what we got going on here is somehow, see they had a chunk of baling wire or something. So what happened to the spring? How did this, this arm has got to be, this arm's got to be on the other side over here is where it's supposed to be. Get a bar and see if we can figure out what we're gonna do to get it back over there. Trying to think this through. How did that do that? How did that get on the wrong side of that? Just don't even see how that's possible is the lever like partially worn or something to where how can that do that how the hell could that go clear over there in that manner does that set come out of there maybe that's what we'll do is rock it around the other way pull the stop bolt out that's what we'll do. Let's get something and jam it the other way. And this has got a hex on it. And we'll pull the stop bolt out and then reset it. Okay, so I had to pull this one line out to get access to it with a socket. This going to dump oil all over me because it's going clear through the case. I'm uh, not really liking the way that's looking. Like that's holding something inside. <laughs> like I might have really screwed myself here. I just need to get... Man, that I'm not liking the way that looks. <sighs> I did not realize that. 
that was going clear through something and holding something internally it looks like so now it probably won't work at all I just thought it was just a stop bolt going into the side of the case obviously it's going well I don't know if there's something down in there that fell down I don't I don't know now <laughs> That's supposed to be down there like that. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I can't see if there was something else attached to this inside or not. I don't have a clue. Okay, so once you put that in, once you put that in park, that's park right there, and then it comes back against the stop. The spring's supposed to pull it, and what's happened here is this lever is all worn out, and it's going past the bolt is what it's doing. It's popping past it. This arm is worn out and needs to be changed. Now I gotta figure out, I don't know, hopefully we didn't screw up, I don't know if that, I see that big rod in there, and I don't know, I don't know if that's something supposed to be held on that, or, <sighs> I didn't hear anything drop when I pulled it out, but, I don't like the looks of that, I'll have to get in a book, I guess, and see if there's something in there that, this wasn't even tight. So somebody's already had it out doing the same thing that I've done before. Yeah, that's just that's just worn out and going past it. I wonder if a guy can knock that roll pin out of there. I wonder if a guy can knock that roll pin out of there and weld a little nubbin on the end of that to where it can't go past that anymore. I guess we, so let's test it first and see if it goes into park. I mean, how do you know? I mean, I guess I could hook my truck onto it and see if the... I'm not on a hill. You know, that or drive it over to a hill, put it in park. Then I'd have to pull that frickin' line back off of there. I guess it ain't too big a deal. That's park. I don't really feel... <laughs> I don't really feel anything going on in there. Washer and a cotter pin on that. I don't know where to put you here, guys. I really don't. There just isn't a good spot. arm still tingling from that of a bitch. Oh, that was that was one of those it's just like, holy shit, that hurt like a brat bastard. Now I'm telling you. Hurt like a bastard. Setup, huh? 
Carter pin that pin ain't very good. Well, let's just check the park lock on it. I'm not gonna start it because I'll blow oil everywhere. Let's just see if the linkage actually does what it's supposed to do. Let's park. Okay. I'm going to park right now. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what it's supposed to do. Right there. Just kind of need to test it and see if it actually is in park, though. That's what I'm not really certain about. I don't think I'm going to be man enough to turn, turn this bitch. Oh, it's in park. It's in park. I wonder if I can just hook onto the front of it with my truck. No, it's, it's in park. It's in park. Okay. So, maybe I'll do, I'll do that. I'll pop that off of there. Well, the little nubbin on there. So where that can't rock over center like that again and go past that. I think that's the thing to do. Or can a guy bend it out on the ear, maybe? You know what, maybe a guy... Maybe a guy can take that thing out of there and uh... Put it in the vise and just bend that 90 out on that ear to where it can't come past it. That's what I'm not understanding because the way this thing's made, it really shouldn't, you know, I mean, there's really no tension against that anyway. Something, that spring doesn't act like it's pulling it back where it's supposed to be. That spring should pull that up against that is the way I think it should work. Do I need to like load the spring and move it around? The other way? Is that what I need to do here? It's 
It's almost like somebody had it together wrong or something, you know what? I might go look at that other one again. not shoving it all the way against that stop I just don't see how that could go past that really well I guess it could but I'm just afraid if that's not rocked clear up against that then that could slip into park while you're moving. That's what I'm worried about. It's almost like the spring is not really doing anything. I wonder if we can pop this off there somehow and load the spring. You know what I'm saying? To where it has more tension on it. So I'd have to put this in the vise and somehow pop this ear off the spring and then wind it to where it's preloaded more. It doesn't have enough tension on it. Yeah, see it just doesn't have enough tension on there, which might be a tall order. Watch this thing unwind on me. How am I going to do this? And I don't know if there's, I don't know if you can get another loop out of it. it may not be possible. I don't think you can. What if you went like that? It's actually going the wrong way though, isn't it? You need this back up in here. Well, I just don't, I don't know if there's much a guy can do with this. Besides get a new spring. I think this ear, part of the problem, this ear is bent down. spring is weak and not throwing her all the way over. Or the roll pin hole. I, I guess I'll put it back on there for now. I don't really know what else to I'll order a spring. There's the roll 
bullpen was in. It's all bent as shit. Uh, goofy bastard anyway, huh? Just a hunt that's scared to some bitches is gonna go in the park going down the road. If that's not all the way back, you know? That's all the way back. That's in park. That's out of park. Like so. How the hell am I going to get this roll fan? See, now that's with that ear bent where it's supposed to be. That's coming up. Yeah, see? That's right now. Somebody just bent the shit out of it. I don't know how you bend that. How would you do that? I don't know how you'd even do that, to be honest with you. Know if we're lined up or not there. Uh, that whole shaft goes in. It's crazy. Ship the whole lined up. Now this this shaft here seems to be kind of spring loaded as well so maybe maybe it really can't I don't know go and accidentally slide into park so let's just tap this I can't see shit in there. Damn. I got fairly lucky and got that lined up pretty good. Can't really tell. Now there he is. We got him going where he can start raking. to thinking about it we took it on a hillside it goes into park comes out of park now we're gonna go up here work on this 1095 again not wanting to spread out or what the hell's going on now he's already got the alternator off so I gotta put the battery in it put the alternator on it something going on with the rake out there it's not
Huh. Something ain't working on her. Got a feeling I'll be going out there next. But I got a new alternator here. Ugh. I don't know. Looks like the new alternator has the screen on it. You gotta put the screen on the new alternator. You can't these Harrow beds. You cannot run these alternators without the screen on them. It will eat itself in a hurry with the hay chaff. He's having troubles out there. Doesn't look like that rake is... There it goes. Now the rake's turning. I don't know what's going on. I didn't test this. These guys pulled it off. And what we got going on here, it's a little different than what was on it. And this screen's not the greatest in the world. So it's got a spade right there. So we probably want that one on the other one. On the W terminal. Like so. I'm probably got to go out there and look at that next. Now there doesn't look like the rake's working or something. I got a slaughter I gotta go back to. She said she started cutting and the header was making noise. I backed the tension off on the conditioner rollers to try to get the hay to go through there a little easier because it was really, really heavy wheat and peas. So I wonder if it's too loose and you know clumps of hair going through it and then making the conditioner flop and bang around. fan too, huh? Off the old one. Should be a spacer. Okay. This, there's a key way in the fan, but there's no key. wave washer looks like his dad might have got him lined out I see the rake spinning now so his dad went out there and showed him how to the hydraulics in the right position and probably didn't have the lever pulled in the right direction or hey, you dirty bastard it's kind of being a pain in the ass Fan. 
fan bend a little bit. Yeah, they bend an ear on the fan. Yeah, they sure shit did. Where is it rubbing at? They bent the fan on it. Bend it. You're still not quite. Gonna make that damn thing wobble. I don't like that very much. Trying to find the low spots on her. She's got a low spot here. That's not too bad. All right, we'll put her on there. I didn't take it off, so in the dark here. Put a spacer. This has got to be the hinge bolt for the bottom. Had that grounded on that you know what they had that grounded ground wire they had that ground wire on that bolt right there it looks like to me and I'm having a hell of a time there we go no that didn't go there where in the hell did that go There ain't no way in hell that went there. I don't know where in the hell that went. Where'd that ground wire go? Or is that the positive cable for the back of the alternator? I'm not really certain about that. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know how this went. I didn't take it off. Well, let's try it again. Let's see what we got. Hey, girly. See if it charges. Oh! Where's the voltmeter? I would say it's charging. appears to me the voltmeter went up
16 volts, that's what it should be. wasn't working but he thinks it's, it's probably right it's probably a little voltage because the alternator wasn't charging let's check the air conditioner out Make sure it's charging or working Something's going on with the fan speeds in it. Well, I'll have to look at that next. Let's go ahead and get the <clears throat> shields back on it for now. Okay, so now I had to go over that swath and do some adjustments on the on the conditioner tension. So this thing here, is, the blower motor's bad on it, and then we gotta sh shim the rolling rack finger. I'll show you that here in a little bit. What happens is the stack stacks start stair stepping. And uh now this is probably the easiest thing to explain once I get there. But the blower motor, I was beating on the bottom of it here and I could get it to turn. Damn it. Put them damn speakers in there and you can't get on that one. Just do it like that and leave it on there. It's got a double squirrel cage on it. How's this one here held in there? Looks like you gotta take those quarter inch bolts out of there or something huh then that motor it's got a ground wire there how do you get this fucker out of there this thing looks like kind of a pain in the ass to get out I think we gotta pull this off too and it's screwed from the inside too see I mean this thing's really bolted in there Okay, so I finally got this thing out of there. So, let's see here. Uh, what a job. So there's two brackets here and the only way to get to these little brackets to get the motor out without bending these brackets is to pull this whole thing off and unbolt these from the back side then you can get the little L brackets off. It's a pain in the ass man. I 
then this all goes gets stuffed up in here with these studs so yeah it's just a wonderful experience I don't know if the camera's going to pick up any of this or not but to be correct let's put let's see what I'm, how am I going to do this Forgot what these two here were. Roll, son of a bitch. What is some of the bitch? I'm still planning on getting over there, trying to get over there to get that rake welded back together. Uh-huh. When are you guys going to start raking? Uh, probably Saturday or Sunday. Okay. That gives me a little time. Okay. Alrighty. I was worried you guys were starting, like, tomorrow morning or some damn thing. Oh, no. Well, Saturday, I did. Okay. Sunday at the latest, but Saturday or Sunday. Okay, that makes me feel a little better. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah. I'll, I'll get it before you start. Alright, thank you, Warren. Alright, bye. Okay, what a deal. What a deal. I think I got that one started. I can't get my fucking finger in there to start it. Let's uh, put one down here on the end. eaten plenty of dirt today more than my fair share of dirt get on these that's right that's how I got it off and then the shaft was a different size on this one versus the old one so you had to they got a bushing that slides over the shaft that's got a hole in it and the allen set screw that holds the squirrel cage on goes through the hole in the bushing so it's kind of a unique design
We've got one left to start. And we gotta tighten them all up. Which will be a blast. That's a lock nut, and I think I got it on backwards. Stand on your head type thing and put the piece of shit on there. I gotta go weld well. I don't know what to do next. I got so much shit to do. I might go put the shuttle lever in this new Holland tractor next so those guys can get going. It's like I've got so many things happening at one time that I don't even know. I'm trying to prioritize. Ah. All the Italian equipment too. So. I gotta go with this. I gotta put a gear wrench. You know, that little Milwaukee cordless ratchet would be ideal for that situation. Okay, before I button it up, I got all the wires back together, just color coded, yellow, yellow, orange, orange, red, red. Fans on low speed. Okay. She's working. <sighs> now I gotta tighten the rest of these bolts up, which ain't no fun at all. I gotta zip tie these wires the way they were. Okay, now this fan. I don't even know if the camera's picking any of this shit up, but I gotta go clear over here. satisfactory there I don't like the way this new motor this grommet keeps coming out that protects the wires I don't like that maybe if I leave it alone I need to get these tied up 